Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of the BioDude, and today I'm going to give you guys an update on February 2018 of where I'm at. So what we're going to do, we're going to come into my customer entrance. I now am very happy to offer retail hours between the hours of 8 and 4 here at my gift shop in uh, Western Texas. I am very happy to offer a full line of feeders. I have fruit fly cultures, horn worms, wax worms, mill worms, super worms, calci worms, uh, and also bulk crickets, as well as all of the bio dude insect diets that I am very happy to offer. I then have all of my substrates over here on display. As you can see, I have my smaller bags with my larger bags with my LEDs. Um, and of course, some really beautiful, some of my favorite pieces of wood that eventually will, plants will be in pots, you know, mounted to the wall. So when you guys come in, you guys are usually going to be greeted by my customer service representative. It's after hours. This is the best time for me to do the videos. I am happy to have a full checkout station here with a cash register, uh, which is great. Got some nice trees in here. So then we go over here. I did a lot of changes these last couple days or I guess weeks. It's been a while since I've gotten to do a video. And here is my Rococo Toad, which you guys have never seen. Her name is Jabba. I've had her for some time, and she is very similar to a marine toad, um, but a Rococo, and they get very large. She'll actually get about double this size, and she's in a 36 by 18. Eventually, she's gonna need something a little bit bigger. You see how it's wet right there? She just secreted a little bit of her special toxin which most toads have because she was angry that I messed with her. As you can see down here, here's my updated leopard gecko enclosure that I built for you guys about a year ago. This leopard gecko is thriving. There are super worms in here, isopods, springtails, uh, the bio shot, and you can see all the plants have just taken over. The leopard gecko is doing great. The humidity in the back corner that I showed you guys is maintaining um, a hot, uh, around 45-55% while here on the outside throughout the rest of the terrarium it's under 10 percent and it is just thriving great i have a new setup over here for my carpet chameleons coming in from frank Payne, and then of course my cuban nitinoles got an upgrade which i'm very happy with this is a 36 by 18 by 36 and i'm i'm in love with these guys these were but these are by far uh, one of my favorite reptiles i'm pretty sure i have a pair what are you doing yep I always enjoy messing with them. Power Sun UVB, um, you can see a 22 inch LED and of course another option for UVB right here. I got my tomatoes hooked up in a 75 and both of my um, uh, Hypobrixii King Snakes are right in here. Down, down here is a new line that I'm gonna be launching very soon which I'm very excited to announce. The substrate is called Terra Botanica and it's gonna be for container gardens. I'm going to be offering complete kits for these, um, including the vases, the substrate, and all of the little accents that you can use to build them. And it all has the bio shot in it, so you don't have to worry about fertilizing or providing different things in here. I'm very excited to get this product line launched because it's going to be um, definitely very unique. And I absolutely love the mini terrariums that are on the stands. You can see I have these guys labeled. So let's come on through gonna come on through here I got my equipment shelf so not to make this not look like a haunted house my fiance got me this tapestry which is of a sloth and this tapestry of a pygmy chameleon and of course you got to have the lizard king hanging up for the customers to see and then we come into my grow room which I absolutely love so this is where I keep all the tropical plants um, I have a lot as you can see I have Benza Britannias down here I got a bunch of different types of draconias. I have different, look at this, it's beautiful begonias. Working on propagating some pothos in here. I have a bunch of different earth stars, which, I'm, which I really like. Um, I have a bunch of different pink ones, variginated ones. Uh, really, you know, a uh, bunch of different kinds. A bunch of different photonias. Let's see what else I got rocking in here. Some of the creeping fig is extremely popular. Um, usually there is a rhyme and reason to uh, having these organized, but I kind of went overboard when I ordered plants, so it happens. Um, I got my cacti up here. This is the spineless 
Pontia. A lot of people ask me, does this have spikes on it? Nope. We got the, uh, I got, I got the uh, fern, the ferns in here. I got the elephant feed. The large elephant feeds, which are great for like your beardies, your mastixes, things like that. They're growing quite well. I always have these in stock. Different size aloes right here. And then of course, like some of my larger bulk aloes that I sell. So here's a really good example of some of the larger aloes that, you know, when you buy the large aloes from me, this is a great representation of what you're gonna get. Um, I always try to make sure I sell larger plants because the smaller the succulents are, the more delicate they are. And then of course up here, um, for the Parabotonica line, micro succulents. Not on the website yet, but I'm really excited for them. I also have micro tropical plants, which are pretty cool. Um, and then of course up here, you see all the different aloes, you see all the different agaves that I have, the spaghetti agaves. Got some neat, some uh, different aloes here. I like these because they look like those plants from Mario that would eat you. I'm down. What, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, a, a bunch of different ferns. Um, I have some some of my limited bromeliads here. My bromeliads are really limited because I get my I get them from a specific grower here, and I buy them when they're already rooted and good to go. I don't like selling the cutted bromeliads with no roots in them. It's a lot harder it's a lot harder to get them established. These almost just die. Um, you can see I got of course the ficus trees which are awesome. So I have the normal standard ficuses. These guys are typically between 28 and 34 inches tall. And then I got these, pretty excited for. I got the braided, the braided shuffleras. That's not supposed to happen, but it did. And the tree's okay, that's what's important, right? So we have this, and then this is what caused me to let the tree fall. One of the larger bromeliads that I have. Sometimes when my customers order them, if it's for a large enclosure, I had a guy order a 36 by 18 by 24 for his dart frogs. I sent him two packs of Brahms just like this. He sent me his after video, it looked great. So you can kind of see what I got going on for my, uh, for my grow room. Then we're gonna come over here. This is where um, all the plants are packaged. I have all your different packaging materials here. I have the 72 hour heat packs right here. Cryo packs, if we ever need to use them, right here. Um, the plants, how I wrap them. This is how your plants are always gonna arrive to you. They're gonna be wrapped in butcher's paper with a layer of paper towels right underneath, and that's to try to protect them. And they're always packaged in their own box. I have different plant boxes right over here. If we have to use a heat pack, it goes right on the outside of the box. So we're gonna keep them going. Uh, and this is where I keep all my biodegradables and my Excelsior and things like that. One of the newer biodegradables that I'm really happy to offer now is the really tiny pieces of cork. I sell these with free shipping on my website and they're great to mix in to the substrate when used in conjunction with the BioShot because it becomes a microbial hot zone, so to speak. And the cork just starts cultivating all these different funguses and bacteria from the BioShot and it, think of it as like a constant nutrition emitter as it slowly breaks down and that's what it does and it's the same principle with the palm bark as well i got an excelsior my triple a sphagnum moss different leaves magnolia oak oh that's actually maple excuse me and oak so i'm very happy to offer um as a leaf litter year round um i do buy it in bulk houstonians if you get a clean sorted leaf litter, I pay $20 per bit for a 55 gallon bag. I had a woman come by last week, I gave her a $300 check for bags of leaves. It's great. We keep all of my substrates here. I have my, uh, my Terraflora, my Firma, my Sahara. So these are all the small bags, the small six quart bags that I have. And okay, we're gonna go over here. I keep all the different screens in these tubs. Guys, please excuse some of the out of stock products. It has been an insane week. I'm so glad it's Friday. So I keep the tubs here. I keep the different levels of bio shot in here. So this is, for example, is a 24 quart. So I did, so about eight months ago, I made the change of bio shot versus, and nixed the bugs. I can tell you guys, since I've made this change, 
My customers have had so much better of a success rate with their bio enclosures and their plants do so much better. And the reason that we're finding this is because it takes the springtails and isopods a long time to get to the point when they're emitting enough nutrients to benefit the soil. Whereas the bio shot immediately gets to work. And on top of that, it's also the organic fertilizer. So when you immediately plant your plants, it really prevents the shock of the plants of being put into a new soil that doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. So it makes your green thumb a little bit bigger. It makes going bio a lot easier. And that's what I do. Because remember guys, it is all about giving these animals the best care possible because that is what they deserve. I have Miss King units here. Um, I stand by these products 100%. I also have the ultimates, which I'm waiting to get here. Um, I have all of my different foggers down here, my Exoterra, my Zoom Med, and of course all the different Miss King parts. And then we're gonna come down here. So I recently started carrying temperature and humidity regulating equipment, which I'm happy for. So the RepTemp digital thermostats, the hydrogram, hydro therms are a great new Zoom Med product I'm very excited to carry. And of course the whole Vivarium electronics line, as you can see, I sold a lot and I'm waiting for my shipment to get here next week. Um, of course, different thermometers. I have the, the Vivarium Electronics and the ZooMed Rep to Temp. I do like this one a little bit better, just because it is easier to use. And then, of course, I have all the live mosses right here, some pillow moss, some of the sheet moss packaged ready to go. And then we have lights. So we'll do our best, it's a little tight in here. I have all the ZooMed lights and under tank heaters right here. I have everything marked and organized to try and ensure order correctness. That is something I'm always trying to get better and improve every single month. Here are the springtails and isopod tote, the containers that we sell for the starter kits, all of my different LEDs. So I have the 16, the 18, excuse me, the 16, 22, and the 8 inch LEDs. All the different UVBs are here. Um, I am going to be carrying the Arcadia two bulbs very soon, which I'm very excited for. You can see you got the normal UVB, the LED UVBs, and then of course your CFLs and your uh, ceramic heat emitters. Now something that I'm very excited for as I talked about the Terra Botanica line, I have a bunch of different glass vases and things that I'm going to be offering. So I'll give you guys a quick peek a quick peek at one of them. So you can see here's one of the bowls, right like that. And I have lights, specialized lights and stands and everything to accommodate that. And I'm really excited to do the YouTube video in a week or two to get this product, this product line launched. Guys, stay tuned. Next product that I have here are the, are the chameleon trays that I've been uh, I've recommended. I'll be doing a video on them soon too. These fit perfectly in the Reptibreezes. And what you do, is you place it in the rep debris, as so. Then you fill it with terra firma, and you plant trees in here. These are great for your old world chameleons that lay eggs. So your veiled chameleons, being a, a chameleon in mind, they have a, a, high, a little bit higher of a chance of becoming egg bound, especially if they don't have a place to deposit their eggs, and especially um, if, they're, if they aren't nutritionally balanced. When you provide enough substrate to be able to plant trees and things like that. Not only does that give them a little bit more of a natural environment, it gives your female chameleon options to burrow and lay her eggs. Um, I have, I've actually, um, I've never bred veiled chameleons, but I, I have worked with people that have, and they have always found the big, uh, deep layer of substrate with a tree planted in there to be the best way to take care of them. And these pouches being waterproof are great for that. So we go over, so we're gonna continue to keep going down here. I have all my, some of my BioDude exclusive products. I have my Springtail Grub. I'm now very happy to offer my Bug Grub in different sizes, four pound, two pound, one pound. And of course my Media offered in one, two, and four pounds. I have all of the feeding ledges and the Pangea diets down here. As normal, all of the Pangea diets, they always ship free, always. And then of course we over here we have water bowls, supplements, um, nut pods, and of course of course all of the various different cups that that I sell and we use day to day. So we'll go over meow, and I have my cork bark bin. So here's all my all my flats. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I usually have a lot more than this. I'm waiting for my shipment to get here. Um, this, this is usually filled up with tubes, and there are usually like five or six boxes of tubes on top here, and then there'll be three to four bales on top of here, on top of all the tube, all the cork flats that go through here. And then over here we have all the bulk, so all the larger bags of substrates with Lucky Houston. Um, I have all the chameleon cages, which I ship, and of course a full line of terrariums here for local pickup at the bottom again. You can see all the different 36 quart bags. A lot of people don't know, but this bag of Sahara right here is 40 pounds. Big bag, so people ask me, Josh, why is your shipping so high? The substrates are heavy and I'm doing my best to get them as low as possible. So, and uh, a lot of my order fulfillment specialists will use these carts um, as well as, you know, fulfill a lot of orders here. Um, I have my springtails and isopods over here. Um, and of course my crickets and my roaches that I keep over here and this is turning into a little bit of a moss growth uh, Area so here is some of the ricea that I'm cultivating This stuff is really popular and it's extremely easy to grow. I really I really like having this stuff Soon I'm gonna offer a lot more aquatic mosses. I just uh, you know, it's just uh, I just need to get them in and get these tanks going You know, there's only so many hours in the day so I'll go over here and I have I've got another rack with a bunch of different types of wood. I have different sizes of bamboo. I have 12, 18, and 24 inch bamboo. Then we pull out the woods. I'm also waiting on my ghost wood shipment to get here. I'm waiting on a lot of stuff. My business is growing very quickly and I am just enjoying and hanging in for the ride, I guess. So I have all the different ghost woods and stuff right here. And then on top, I let some light in, it's a little dark. Uh, then, so get the ghost wood, and I have everything on wheels, so that way my order fulfillment specialists, it's really easy for them to, uh, to pull down what they need. And then we got some Malaysian driftwood, which again, I'm waiting for more to get here. A customer just ordered 12 pieces today. And then small Malaysian driftwood. Got a bunch of that. Then we have, of course, the resurrection fern logs, which are extremely popular. Let me pull one of these out. Yeah, I, of all the things I sell, these are the ones I always like to make sure I always have enough of, and I still never do. Check this out. Oh, I'm keeping this one. Look at that. Beautiful. Put that right there. I'm gonna put that one in my tank. Part, guys, the hardest part of my job is when I get all these cork shipments and wood shipments and I don't keep half of it. Because I just want to use it all. So then we'll go into my office. So I keep all my branding and stuff in here. Cleaning supplies, all that good stuff. Um, and then we go right on in here. So excuse my desk, it is a little cluttered. It's been, it's been a very, very busy week. So, you know, uh, uh, this door is locked and the customers use the other entrance. Um, so right here is my Borneo ear frog habitat um, that has been growing really well. I'm sure you guys remember that video. So here's an update on that video of this same exact tank. I have a fogger, as you can see down here, that is going, is uh, you know, doing its job. And the Borneos are in here. Let me see if I can find, here we go. Here is one of the males. He did not like that. Come here. Yeah, he's not going to be disturbed. And then down here, I have my Aki's monitors, and you can actually see one of the smaller ones. I just put a, we just put a bunch of food in the dishes. So I'm sure you guys remember that tank for that build, and it's doing extremely well. They have a huge network of tunnels underneath. Here's my cinnamon tree frog enclosure, 100% aquatic. And these guys, let me tell you. They're thriving in here. There's probably a couple dozen tadpoles. Um, I don't know how many adults are in here. I've lost count because I haven't been like trying to sell any. I've just been like hoarding them. They're usually all over the place. Where are they? And the lights are getting are close to being turned off, so they're probably deep in here. Oh, here's one. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. 
Here's my corn snake enclosure with substrate that's uh, it's pretty old, eight or nine years old. There's a Nagini. They have a huge network of tunnels through here in burrows. Um, and this, and they, the, everything in this tank has just been thriving and growing extremely well. My oscillateds are down here right in the 75, and they're doing extremely well. Uh, you know, there's, they, they've actually just had more babies in that huge 75, so who knows. This is my moss paludarium. So a lot of my ingredients for the moss fusion, not all, but some come from this tank. I have Rosea, Java moss, um, duckweed, a bunch of different smaller aquatic plants. Here's this, this is my moss fusion right here. So you can see some of the moss on here growing. And then this plant just came out of the fusion and it has taken over since. I love it, it's beautiful. And here is my red eye enclosure, my red eye tree frogs, my Chinese gliding frogs, my hylomantis lemurs, uh, my crested gecko enclosure. This is always um, a customer favorite. They come in here and they see it and, you know, they always really seem to, you know, enjoy that tank the most until I show them the emerald tree skinks and then uh, they, uh, we think they have a new favorite. And I'm going to grab some wax worms and let's see if they're hungry. So I'm sure you guys remember this terrarium too. Here's another update for you. Everyone asks, where's Hercules? I'll be doing a separate video for him soon. You want that? He's like, no, I don't want that. Maybe. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Anybody else want any here? These are some of the most inquisitive lizards I think I've ever owned. A little bit more inquisitive than the oscillateds and the ackies, which is surprising. There you go. I do this every day or every other day, depends. And you can see one of my oldest up here blending right in like it's nothing. You take that, there you go, buddy. I will, I will leave you guys be. And then down here at the bottom are my dumpies. I love my dumpies. I love them, they're one of my favorite. This tank is thriving, so here's one of them. I have bred these guys on many occasions. I just don't have the space at the moment to do it again because their spawns are enormous. I got another blue up here. This tank has dubias, superworms, crickets. Well, there's so much in here that's thriving, and these guys just eat everything, which is why I like this tank so much. And you can see I have, another, I have a blue-eyed white. That's at the end of the tube right there, you know, chilling and surveying the situation until the lights come off and then it gets real loud in here. And then, you know, my desk hasn't changed much as you guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Come out over here. So it gets pretty busy. The boxes line up here and then with the order fulfillment specialists and then the other order fulfillment specialist is at the computer making labels, putting everything together, putting all the proper marketing materials in there as far as instruction cards, things like that. And I'm always working on getting more and more instructional material for you guys to make this as easy as possible. And that leads me to the next thing that I'm gonna show you. So uh, my last show video, I talked about the, the uh, taking off of the springtails and isopods out of the kits, which was the best thing I think I've ever done, like I mentioned before, as far as how happy my customers have been. But one thing that I'm really looking forward to is my distribution. I have recently gotten my media into Canada from Reptiles R Us, and I'm very close to the end stage of my boxes that, that I designed and getting printed. So I'm still waiting on two of my um, samples from my manufacturer. So the first one is gonna be one for all four substrates, and these will be on shelves. My plan is to get these into Canada and the United Kingdom. These are complete bioactive kits. It includes the substrate, it includes the biodegradables, and it includes the Bioshock, as well as full step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything. Making, every, making this a grab-and-go kit that's easy for everybody to use. Like I said, I'm still waiting on my two prototypes for my Sahara and my Flora. 
but I can tell you I'm very excited to get started with these and start distributing these into other countries because that's my that's my next big step and then I will briefly show you guys my manufacturing area so I don't actually show this to a lot of people just because a lot of what I do um, is my intellectual property so I'm gonna show you guys we're gonna come right on through here so this is where my product fulfillment specialists make all of the substrate. Um, we have extra bins over here. So that way, if they ever need the opportunity, they can just wheel them all out. Uh, we have them tied together right now just to make the entranceway, but everything is on wheels, so it makes it really easy to clean. I keep all of my branding in all of these shelves here. As you can see, um, more moss and things like that. Here are my leaf litter dams. We have maple, we have oak, and we have palm bark and magnolia. So I rented, I rent a trailer, and I find my palm bark in safe places, and we take care of it. So here is about a trailer load of the palm bark, and then we have a bunch of the magnolia. And then, of course, I have the saw and all that other good stuff right here for getting all the stuff together. And everybody, and anyway, guys, I really want to thank each and every one of you for continually supporting my business endeavor of the Bio Dude. I really appreciate all the locals coming in two weeks after my retail shop opening and having a bunch of people come in and, and you know helping the movement grow. And you know, it's always about giving you know the some of the most misunderstood animals on the planet the best care possible because they are still wild animals, and it's important that we as keepers. Um, provide them with that type of environment because that is what is best. Again, again, guys, my name is Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. Visit my website, thebiodude.com. Dude abides.